بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay girls assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning girls before we begin our class today let's say basmala together Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, mashallah. I hope everyone's having a great morning. And today we are going to continue talking about our long and short vowel sounds. Long and short vowel sounds. I will share screen. And I think we are almost finished with long and short vowel sounds, but we're going to um, we're going to talk about it just a little bit first. So, long and short vowel sounds. Who can tell me what are the five vowels? The five vowels. There are five of them. What are they? How about Haura? Haura, can you tell me, please, the five vowels? Um, a E, U, I, O. Very good. Or you can say it like this. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. That's how I learned it anyway. But you still said it. You still said it just in a different order. These are the five vowels and some of the most important letters in our alphabet, in the American alphabet. Because every word that you find will have a vowel in it. Almost every word that you find will have a vowel in it. Now, we have already gone over the vowels and we said that each of the vowels, this A-E-I-O-U, has how many different sounds? So the letter A has how many different sounds? Salma, Salma. The letter A has how many different sounds? All of the vowels have how many sounds? Uh, how many two? Sounds? Yes, two. <laughs> two different sounds. There is a long and a short sound. So with a total of five vowels, we have 10 different ways to pronounce it. And this sometimes is what makes it so complicated, so complicated. Well, we had already to discuss together the three different rules, the three different rules. We had rule one talking about the short vowel sounds. Who can tell me when do we use the short vowel sound? When do we use the short vowel sound? How about khair, khaira, khaira? Yeah. When yeah. do we use when do we use the short vowel sound? When a word has how many vowels? One vowel. Yeah, mashallah, mashallah. When the word only has one vowel, very good, khaira. The second one, the second rule we learned about when to use the long vowel sound. Okay, so how about kanza? Kanza, can you tell me when, how many vowels does the word have in it if we use the long vowel sound? Two vowels. Two, two or more, two or more. Sometimes they can be up to four or even five vowels in a word. Well, as long as it's two or more, we know that we give it the, sh the long vowel sound. And we even practiced these sounds together. Well, there was one more rule, and that was double letters. When we have two vowels that are next to each other. Okay. Now, who remembers this one? This one's a little bit difficult, yeah. We had the long vowel sounds, because the word has two vowels, but the difference with this one was the vowels are next to each other. They're next to each other. So when the vowels are next to each other, like the example soap, yeah, O and A, they're side by side or next to each other. So which one do we say? 
which letter do we say? How about Zahra? Zahra. Assalamu alaikum. Zahra. Okay. Do you remember we talked about this Zahra? When you have two vowels that are side by side next to each other, which one is the vowel that we pronounce or we say? Is it the first one or the second? As in soap. So which one do we say? The? The. Is it the first or the second? Just try, yeah. take, a, take a guess. Look at the word. Yes, Sarah? Oh, that's a good try, but it's the first. The first vowel is the one we say, and the second vowel is silent. We don't say it. Just like in the example here, soap, stain, main. The vowels are next to each other. Don't get confused. Um, the one, how you say it is, you say the first vowel and the second vowel is silent. Remember, I, go, I gave you the rhyme to go along with this to remember the rule. So when two vowels go a walk in, yeah, meaning they're next to each other side by side, <laughs> the one that does the talking is the first, is the first vowel. So that's the one we say. So it's so, not so ape, so ape. Yeah, no, it's, we only say the first vowel, the O, and we give it that long O sound. Can you say that word for me? Zahra, S-O-A-P. How do we say that? What is it? What we use on our hands? Oh. Yeah, there you go. So, so. We practice with the sounds together, the long and short sounds. Yeah. Um, trying to figure out how do we pronounce the short sound and how do we pronounce the long sounds. You girls did a great job with that. And we practiced putting words together. We practice putting words together, uh, mixing them up and seeing if you know the difference, which one is short sound, which is one is long sound and how to pronounce it. We had the first one like number one was man, main, and main. Yeah, you girls also did a great job with that, pronouncing the words. And we are almost, mashallah, finished with this practice, with this practice, mashallah. Great job, girls. But this is really important. This is part of the basics. Yeah, this is part of the basics of understanding how to, um, um, if we find a word that we don't know, we've never seen it before, and we can try to figure out how to pronounce it, how to pronounce it. Oh, we already did this one, yeah. Okay, so the last practice today is with those long vowel sounds. This is another maze that we're gonna do. Last week we did the maze with short vowel sounds. Well, today we're going to do long vowel sounds. Not everyone in the class got a chance to practice last week. So today I would like to call on those who did not get a chance to practice last week to go first, to go first. So take a look at our maze, at our maze here. Ooh, a lot of the words are the same, yeah, from the short maze. But what we're looking for now is we're looking for all the words with the long sound. So remember, uh, words with long sound, words with a long sound, so if it has a long sound, that means it has two or more vowels. Ooh, almost fit. Yeah. So we're looking for all the words with two or more vowels. Yeah. 
uh, for all with all the long vowel sounds. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's draw a line. We're starting from in, and we're trying to go all the way through this maze and get to the out and get to the out. So, in the first word, of course, is a word that has. Uh, the two vowels. Let's choose someone. Kansa. Kansa, did you practice last week? Yes, I have. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. I will maybe come back to you, Kansa, but I'll find someone who has not had a chance to practice yet. So how about, ah, Kintia. I think Kintia did not get a chance to practice last week. Yeah, Kintia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Kintia, take a look at the first word. We've gone into the maze. It's H-E-A-T. How do we say this word? Heat. Very good, mashallah. And she gave it that nice, long sound. Okay, Kintia, so you need to tell us where to go next. Should I go to the right or should I go down? Which of these two words has the long vowel sound? Down. Down, very good, mashallah. Well, it has a long vowel sound because it has two vowels in the word. So how do we pronounce this word, Kintia? Road. Road, very good. Now, I didn't ask you, what is heat? What is heat? What is that? Mm. If you're in your car and it's cold in America, we have the ability, uh, here you just have the AC, the air conditioner in your car. But in America, because it gets really cold and it snows, so we put on the heat. So that means that uh, instead of cold air coming out from the AC, it's hot air coming out. So it keeps us nice and warm. And we call that, that air that's coming out because it's hot, we call it heat. We call it heat. What about the next one, Kintia? Let's try again. What is R-O-A-D? Your car goes on this, on a road. What is that? What is that? The thing your car drives on. It's black. It's paved. What is it? Kintia? Do you know what this is? You you can if you cannot explain explain it in English, you can tell me in Indonesian. What is it? Road. Asphalt. Oh, and that's the same in English. It's also called asphalt. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's a thing that cars drive on. Good job, Kintia. How about Atira? Atira, did you practice with us last week, Atira? Yes, she has such a very soft voice. How about Elisia? Elisia, salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Elisia, did you practice last week? Yeah. Yeah, mashallah, mashallah. Good, good, good. So that means everybody's getting a turn, yeah? How about Anissa? Anissa, have you practiced yet, Anissa? Already. Already. Thank you very much. How about Fatima Palangi? Fatima Palangi, Assalamu alaikum. Fatima, Assalamu alaikum. How about, so it looks like we've gotten almost everybody yet. How about Aifa? Aifa, salam alaikum. Yes, yeah. Aifa, have you did you practice last week? Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, mashallah. Okay, well, it sounds like everybody has. Uh, so we'll go around again. We'll go around again. So Aifa, where do I need to go next? Where do I need to go next? Should I go to the right or should I go down? Which word has the long vowel sound? Late. Tell me, tell me, where should I go to the right or down? Right. To the right, mashallah, mashallah. And tell me, what is the, this word? L-A-T-E. Late. Very good, late. Were you late for school today, Aifa? Um, a little bit. <laughs> Mashallah, she is honest, she is honest. Yeah, so we know what the meaning of late is. And what about this word down? If we went down, B-E-T, how do we pronounce this one? Aifa? It has the short vowel sound. So it's like pet, pet. So it's b et. How do we say it? Aifa? With B. Bet. Bet. A bet. Ooh, that's not a good word, though, to make a bet. Okay. A bet. Do you know what that is, Aifa? I don't know. Uh, I'll give you an example. I bet that... Everybody in the classroom can tell me the correct answers in this game. That's it. So what does that mean? So almost like I can, I can promise you or yeah. Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I can promise you that um, I will that everybody will know the answers. Yeah, almost like that. Something like that is the meaning. <laughs> All right, very good. How about Luneta? Luneta, salam alaikum. Salam. Luneta, how are you today? I'm good. Okay, Luneta, where are we going? Are we going to, should we go to the right or should we go down? Looking for the long vowel sounds. Mm. To the right or down? Where are we going? Down. down, very good. Because the word down has two vowels in the word. Well, how do we pronounce this word, Luneta? E. East. Very good. It's two vowels next to each other. Remember what we said about that? When you have two vowels that are side by side or next to each other, the one you pronounce is the first vowel, E, and we give it that long sound. And the second vowel, A, we do not pronounce it. It is silent. So, so this is East. Very good, Luneta. Now I have one more question, Luneta. Why didn't you pick a cross? S L I P. Why didn't you, why didn't you go here? I don't know. <laughs> how many vowels does it have? Remember, we're looking for words with long vowel sounds. Well, how many words, how many vowels does this one have? S L I P. One. It only has one vowel, so it doesn't have the long vowel sound that we're looking for, but it has a short vowel sound. So, Luneta, do you know how to pronounce this word? S-L-I-P. Slip. Slip. Have you ever slipped on your bathroom floor? Yes. <laughs> Did you say yes? Have you slipped on your bathroom floor before? Yes. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and did you hurt yourself? Okay. 
Are you are you okay? When you slipped in the bathroom, were you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Luneta? Uh oh, my connection, yeah. Can you hear me, girls? Yes. Yeah. You have passed the time. I'm sorry. Tell me. The time is. Yeah. The time is finished. finished. Mashallah, mashallah. Well, great job so far, girls, in our maze with the long vowel sounds. I just want to make sure that before we leave this topic, that you understand how to pronounce the sounds and you can use them in different words that maybe you've never heard before. Recognizing which word needs to have the long sound and which word needs to have the short sound. And so far, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much, girls, for your practice today. And Let's close our class today by saying Kafaratul Majlis together. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh girls.